it's a great win. I mean, uh, they play really well at home. They were two and two at home. They they struggle on the road, but play really well at home. So we knew we were in for a battle. Uh, we didn't play worth a darn in the first half on offense or defense. I mean, give up two long runs on defense, and our offense can't put the ball in the end zone except for one long run by Ronnie. So we didn't play well again in the first half, but we were good enough in the second half and showed enough character that we found a way to win. At, at this point, uh, I know you like to play well in both halves or whatever, but starting slow, it, it seems to kind of work for you. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is, is it almost like who cares? I mean, if you're winning games? Uh, no, it's not who cares. We care, we care and we try to address it every week. Mm. I mean, we, we talk about it all the time. We, we, we try to train it by the way we practice. The early part of practice, we try to train it. And I don't know why. Uh, that's the way we've been on defense. That's the way we've been all year long. On offense, that's just kind of a new phenomenon here in the last three or four weeks. So maybe they're taking their lessons from the defense. Did you do anything differently in the second half, or was it one of those execution things like you talked about? Uh, well, we made all these really fantastic adjustments at halftime because we're such really good coaches. Uh, no, we did we did the exact same. We ran the exact same defense in the second half that we ran in the first half. Uh, we called a, we called a few things differently, and we adjusted one coverage. But the, we didn't make a bunch of gigantic adjustments at halftime. The kids just executed better. Can you talk about Ryan? The difference between him in the first half, second half. Well, I think he, I think he's just like our team. I, I don't, I don't think the receivers were getting open, and he wasn't very accurate with the football in the first half. In the second half, he made some really nice throws, and the receivers made some really nice catches. The, the throw for the touchdown that put us kind of ahead to stay, uh, was really a great throw. But it was also a nice catch by Dylan Denzel. What about that call on fourth down there? What was the reason you were nervous about Abel or something in that fourth and one play? Not at all. We were only three points ahead, and I figured if they were going to drive it down and, and kick a field goal, we'll go to overtime. But it was a time for us to put the ball game away and give our team a chance to win it. it had nothing to do with Abel. With the seven win plateau, I mean, this is what you've been saying. This is what you need to get the bowl game. Uh, how confident do you feel now with the seven win? I don't feel confident at all. Uh, I, I told I, I told some people at the beginning of the week. I don't think it matters if we're eight and four, seven and five, or six and six. I think it's all the luck of the draw now.